this video, we're going to be talking about bitmap graphics. Bitmap images are made up of pixels in a grid. Pixels are picture elements, tiny dots of individual color that make up what you see on your screen. These tiny dots of color come together to form the images you see. Most computer monitors display approximately 70 to 100 pixels per inch. The actual number depends on your monitor and the screen settings. To illustrate this, let's take a look at a typical desktop icon, such as the one shown in the image here. The icons on your desktop are typically 32 by 32 pixels. In other words, there are 32 dots of color going into each direction. When combined, these tiny dots form an image. The icon shown in the upper right corner of this example is a typical desktop icon at screen resolution. As you can see when you enlarge the icon, as I have in this example, you can clearly see individual squares of dots of color. Note that the white areas of the background are still individual pixels, even though they appear to be one solid color. Bitmap images are resolution dependent. Resolution refers to the number of pixels in an image and is usually stated as DPI, or dots per inch. Bitmap images are displayed on your computer screen as screen resolution, approximately 1000 ppi or pixels per inch. However, when printing bitmaps, your printer needs much more image data than a monitor. In order to render a bitmap image accurately, the typical desktop printer needs 150 to 300 pixels per inch. If you've ever wondered why your 300 dots per inch scanned image appears so much larger on your monitor, this is why. Because bitmaps are resolution dependent, it is difficult to increase or decrease their size without sacrificing a degree of image quality. When you reduce the size of a bitmap image through your software's resample or resize command, you must throw away pixels. When you increase the size of a bitmap image through your software's resample or resize command, the software has to recreate new pixels. When creating pixels, the software must eliminate the color values of the new pixels based on the surrounding pixels. This process is called interpolation. Let's now look at the tools used to edit bitmap images. Editing involves taking a subsection of a photograph and removing everything else. While this could be achieved by simply taking the picture closer to the subject, copying out certain aspects of a photo sometimes changes its content and meaning. Let's go over how to scale an image. First you will need to select an image. The image I chose is a picture of my face. On a Mac, the first thing you'll do is open the image and select the drop down box labeled Tools. You will then select the tab saying Adjust Size. After clicking Adjust Size, you can see that there is a window open with a lock icon next to the width and height of the photo. This allows the photo to stay proportional. As you can see here, I adjusted the width of the photo and automatically the height corresponded with that width. Finally, there is a reduced size picture of my face. Next thing we are going to be talking about is flipping. On a Mac, the first thing you do is open the image. The next thing you will do is choose the drop down box labeled Tools. Then you will choose the button that says Flip Horizontal. After you click the Flip Horizontal button, your picture will be shown in its new direction. Next editing tool we will be talking about is Rotation. As shown previously, you will need to open the image. After selecting the Tools drop down menu, you will click Rotate Left. Now you have learned how to rotate an image. Our next tool is Cloning. Making an exact replica is what you would use cloning for. After opening the image, you will click File and then Duplicate. You then will have two images that are exactly the same. Next thing we will talk about is the selection tool. First you will click the button highlighted in blue. It looks like a marker and a square. You will then click the button that looks like a dotted square. After you select this, a drop down menu will be shown. Click the lasso selection button. You will then draw around the part of the picture that you want to cut out. Next to the lasso button, there is a cropping button that you're going to click. Once you click this, it will ask you if you want to convert this document to PNG and you will click convert. After that, it will save your image as a PNG and it will look like this. 